How do I make animated paintings in Minecraft? Last year I made a similar video on how you could animate paintings in Minecraft on your own. And today I'll be once again showing you how, but this time in much greater detail and clearing up any issues people have asked me about. So, how do we get the default textures of the most recent version of Minecraft? Well, it's quite easy. Just find your .minecraft folder, go to versions, find the current version. The current version right now in 2020 is 1.19. Make a copy of that executable Java file somewhere else. With either WinRAR or 7-zip, if you have that, extract it to its own folder. And now we have all the resources we need, but the folder is way too large. So we need to delete everything we don't need. Basically, just keep the assets folder. If you're planning to make an entire resource pack, it's up to you to delete whatever you don't need. But if you're just focusing on paintings, then you don't need anything else. Firstly, we need a GIF. Any GIF. Either it's your own or from somewhere on the internet. But what tools do I need? If you want to make your own GIF, I recommend using EasyGIF. It's free to use and usable online. It can crop your GIF easily and resize it if the GIF is too big. Other programs like Photoshop work fine. Basically, any GIF editor will work if you need to make your original GIF. Second thing we need to use is something that makes a spreadsheet, for which I recommend Pixcolab. As you can create a spark sheet of any length with mostly no issue. EasyGIF can also create spike sheets, but they limit the size of your file. Quick note, I would advise against using any GIF that has too many frames, meaning that it plays too long, as that will increase your file size at the end, and may not download properly. And now we can get into creating our animated painting. Side note, this will work for any texture that has its own file. Choose whichever painting you want to animate. Keep in mind of the file's dimensions. There are only four sizes that the paintings come in. Square paintings are 1x1, one one. landscape paintings are 2x1, portraits are 1x2, and the last two are 4x3. Majority of the paintings are squares if you notice. My gift here would fit nicely on either two 4x3 paintings, but I could crop this in easy GIF to be either square or landscape. Now we go into easy GIF. You may go either route. If you already have a GIF, you may want to resize that GIF before you make a sprite sheet. Or you may turn a video into a GIF and do the same thing here. If the GIF or video is too long, you can trim it here in the cut page. Once your GIF is the way you want it, download and save it. Now we go into Pixel App and import your GIF. You don't need to do anything else, but export it as a PNG. Spark sheet. Make sure there is only one column and save it. You can save it however you like by saving it under another name, then renaming it, or just overwriting the painting file. It doesn't matter much. And now we make an MC meta file. So how do we make an MC meta file? Other textures such as water and lava also have MC meta files next to them. But you can just create a text file in your folder. In that text file, copy this text, fill in the width and height of each frame, save it, and change the extension to mc.meta. Make sure the name of the MC meta file matches the file name of the painting and also include the PNG extension. So it may look like kong.png.mcmeta. Once you have all the animated paintings you want, add assets pack and pack.png into a .zip folder. There may be some issues you come across. If your image is all black or one color, either the file names in the mc.meta file does not match or the file names are written incorrectly, or you forgot to fill in the width and height in the mc.meta file. If your Minecraft detects that it is out of date, it might be an error. You just need to change the pack format in pack.mc.meta. The current one is 9. This may change in later versions like 1.20, so watch out for that. If you have any concerns on which versions this will work on, this will work for every version of Minecraft 1.14 and after. Because in 1.14, the textures of paintings were separated into separate files, rather than it being one single large image. Hopefully this video was helpful for all of you trying to create animated paintings in Minecraft. And if you have any other questions, tell me that in the comments below.